With summer 19, the LWC framework has become stronger, especially in terms of the places where the LWC can be used now. Now, LWC can be used in many, many more places. So, let us see that where it can be used now. So, now it can be used in a standalone app. So, earlier we could only use LWC in a lightning component. We could not use it directly in a standalone app. So, now we can also use it in a standalone app. Secondly, we can use it with lightning out and we can use it is also an open source now. What it means is that it can be used in any application, in any external website or in any other application, Heroku application. We can use the LWC which will interact with Salesforce database. So let us see Lightning Out and LWC as an open source in detail with demos. So first of all, uh, let's take this straightforward point that uh, you can simply add your Lightning Web Component in the Aura, Aura application with the following syntax. So I think we can go to Lightning Out now. So basically, what is Lightning Out? Lightning Out is a feature that extends Lightning apps. It acts as a bridge to surface Lightning components in a remote web container. So if there is an application which exposes Lightning components and the application extends the uh, Lightning, Lightning Out interface, then the application can be used in external sites in hybrid apps, in Heroku, and many more places. So the app becomes accessible to, to web containers. And through the app, the, web, uh, the components in the app also become available. So uh, I think we should see a small demo for this. Let me go to my dev org. Um, so in my dev org, I have created a Visual Force page, a Lightning Web Component and a Lightning Out app. So here, this is my Lightning Out app. This app extends the Lightning Out app interface. The app is global. You can see the access is global. And it exposes these two components. So here you can see that we have used two dependencies. So why do we use a dependency? So if we declare Aura dependency, it improves the discoverability of the components by framework. So as we have exposed this, this is our lightning web component. So we have exposed this component and the web containers where we want to expose it. So they will be exposed and they will be discoverable. Okay. So, and there is one more point that the aura depend, uh, lightning app that is that uses dependency isn't a normal app so you cannot add any markup to this and even if you add a markup it will not be the markup will not be displayed so basically this app is only for exposing the lightning components to the web container so this app is not for rendering purpose i have also created a basic uh, lightning web uh, lightning web component hello world type of lightning web component so as we already know that lightning web component has three files the html file the javascript file and the meta xml file html file is the markup file that contains the ui uh, this js is the controller file that contains the uh, client side business logic and meta xml file this file contains the uh, tells us the that where the lightning web component will be used but you can notice that i have not added anything to to the lightning web component because the lightning web component is being exposed through the application therefore we need not add anything here in our case so here you can see we have used hello greeting so this greeting, so where will this greeting come from? So we are not passing it from the JavaScript, but we are passing this greeting from the Visual Force page. So Visual Force page uh, will interact with the Lightning Web Component through our application, that is a Lightning Out application, and pass the greeting value. So very quickly we will see how that is happening. And I just want to mention one more thing, that here we have used the uh, this API decorator. So API decorator makes the property public and reactive. 
it can be set by any other component so in this case we have uh, used api because we want to set the greeting in our uh, greetings value in the visual force page now let us quickly go and see the visual force page so so that a lot of time is not wasted i have already created these simple components to demo the lightning out so here you can see i i have created a simple visual force page which here we, in the markup we are in, uh, indicating that we are include lightning we are indicating that we are going to use a lightning app in our visual force page here you can see that we are using we are uh, writing that we are using this lightning app so this is the name of our lightning out application then next we are creating the uh, lwc dynamically over here so here you can see and this greeting value we are passing to the lightning web component so for this visual force page i have created a tab let me go to the tab and show you so this is the this is the tab that shows uh, hello greeting so that greeting is replaced by ravi because from the visual force page we are passing this value so let me quickly change this value so now hello sakshi should come so the in the visual force page we are changing the value so now let me refresh the page it is taking little time and here we have our page and the greeting has changed so uh, that's it for today and hope you liked this video and you learned something new um, you can post your comments in the uh, comment section and let me know if you like the video thank you